running tournament. They're, they're there whenever we need them. They work hard. They're here before anybody gets here. And uh, you, you just got to pay tribute to them. We're lucky to have an admin team like the one that we do that works Absolutely. Hard. So many hard workers here putting on such an epic event. Randy Moss making the catch get coming get to start the second quarter get get at the nine-yard line. That's going to be a first and goal here for Ghosts. We talked about uh, Figgy's music. I just got to throw Ghost out there right now. He's got some James Arthur, The Weeknd, and Drake in the playlist, amongst uh, other things. Yeah, the, the variation definitely there between the players in this case. But Ghost. Watch these curl routes here, Nick. This is his go-to money. These high balls on the hitches and the curl routes. He is the best at doing this. He started this trend this year. He's running up the middle. He's going to go. No, he, oh, he got to be careful. Pass, I'm sliding. Yeah. Yeah, Almost thought he had a read. He tried to he tried to slide, but he was so close to the line of scrimmage, he got the throw animation instead. Almost playing with a disaster. But yeah, what Ghost gets down here, we saw it from Drag uh, yesterday with those short hit routches in the high ball. You're just going to try to get someone in space, give them a chance to get their hands on it. There's that space, but not much in the end. Immediately closed on. Of course, he goes everywhere, but the hitch or the curl goes, goes to the flat <laughs> route. But a big part of that is, too, uh, these guys do watch a lot of tape on each other. Yeah. And I'm sure if anyone that's prepared for Ghost, they're going to be prepared for that part of his offense because everybody knows uh, that, that he loves to go to those. As we mentioned, in the round of 16 last year, Ghost knocked out Figgy on his way to the championship. There finds Moss yeah. in the end zone, Come and on. it's a touchdown. Ghost, it's going to be a 14-7 pending the extra point. And I'll tell you what, I struggle in the red zone in Madden. And there's a lot of people that do it. It's tough down there. I'm telling Nick, it's not easy down there, brother. Why, why would you say that? Because of the defense the here? Field, the field shortens up. You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not easy. If you can't run the ball very well down there, it's, it's going to be tough. Ghost has had a ton of success with those hitches and curl routes. If you haven't incorporated them into your arsenal yet, you got to get it in there. Look at Moss. Just turns around, gets in the space, high ball to him. If you're not incorporating that into your offense in the red zone after watching this event, you're doing it wrong, especially if you're struggling down there in the red zone. Randy Moss no doubt helps your chances being as tall as he is and just frankly as athletic as he is, of course, for catching those high balls. And the beautiful thing about curls and hitches is they're often hot routes, so you don't even need to always call plays with the Parker into the play. You Jimmy can make Parker. that adjustment at Please. the line of scrimmage. Yeah, seeing players constantly do it with the camera zooming in and out, of course. Um, pretty much every single play. So that stop right there from Ghost. Not afraid to let Figgy know how he's feeling about it. Only gets a two yard gain. And now it's Figgy's turn to start switching things up with the audible. Yeah, I, I've gotten to look at the data, and a lot of these guys, they're averaging about 2.5 to 3 offensive adjustments per play. Well, the defense is closer to 6.5 to 7 defensive wow. adjustments per play. So these guys are thinking on the fly and constantly adjusting to what they see at the line of scrimmage. It's like a Sean McVay style of offense. Some in-depth stats right there. I love it. And the audible. We saw Ghost call the timeout previous play, but this time been a little more prepared for it for an end of the backfield. It's going to be a pass all the way, though, and all the time in the world. Moss, the one-handed catch, unable to make. He's looking good on defense, and I like that strategy. It's the opposite of what his lab partner and crew member, Joke, did. Joke was very um, good on defense, so he loaded up on his offense. Ghost does the opposite. He says, I'm already good on offense. Let me just get the best defensive personnel I can. And so far, that strategy looks good for him. Big stepping back, finds Sanders. Not going to be a first down, but a gain of about seven or so. It's going to be fourth and two coming up. So a big chance here in terms of a stop from Ghost potentially. And just to show you how much cap Ghost spent on defense, the two user control players that he'll cycle back and forth with uh, in the nickel formation is a Jamal Adams with 96 speed, which is going to be a ridiculous amount of cap, and then a Sean Taylor with 94 speed. So he did spent a lot of his cap on making sure the player that he's user controlling on defense is elite of elite. He's able to get there quickly. Might come into play here. Fourth and two. Big fourth down. The catch is made by Tyree Hill. Just enough for the first. Huge. Ice in your veins right there, Figgy. Needed two, and he got three. That's the first down, though. What matters, of course. That's Angel Figueroa, the third from Lancaster, PA, representing his Philadelphia Eagles. He said, oh, the ball's out! The ball's out! 
That's Ghost Possession. That's that Taylor, I believe. Sean T. Yeah, Sean Taylor even shouting him out right there. That's why he has it. And I'm Give telling that, you, man. that's why was, he spent all that cap on those guys, and these are the plays he expects them to make. Look at him. That's the AI just running in there and cracking you. And you see that big that big hitter banner that comes down right under. That's letting you know you got hit by a guy that's got a lot of hit power. And as we all know, anyone that's seen Sean Taylor back when he used to play, Oh, uh, Lord, did he have some hit power. Ghost taking over possession for the 38, but Figgy, quick response to the sack right there, loses six yards on that play. So it'll be second and 16 now, back to the 43-yard line. 2.22 remaining here in the first half. Clock is ticking down, 14-7 lead now for Ghost. The Ghost, the North Brunswick, New Jersey native, 21 years old, Hassan Spall. He's got the whole family back home watching and supporting him. His brother Sonin, also a... Madden player on the circuit. Bunch of the right, sends Cooper in motion to the right. Steve Young. He's got the pressure oh, in his face, and that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Two sacks on this drive now, back-to-back. That's -back. a 10-yard loss in that one. That's all of a sudden, he's lost 16 yards in two plays. Yeah, rare missed read, too, by Ghost. He saw the drag route just running naked across the middle of the field. Must have had his eyes looking oh, no, deep down the field somewhere, not look looking for the check now. Yeah, exactly. He can only look in so many spots at once. Good big play. 26 has the pressure. Has oh. Cooper, though, with a big one-handed catch, so he gets a lot of the yards back. But fourth and nine now. See, my dude Ghost has a kicker. It's the 10 cap, Dan Bailey. Take a look at the player lounge, by the way. Joke, he'll be playing on later today. Get Skim out of, of there. He's not a player. <laughs> a caster now. At least for now. It is going to oh, be a double no. attack too far to the right. That's, I need it. Did not oh, have much of a no. chance. And, and here's the thing, Nick. Anybody that's in the chat that's been in this community for a while, they're laughing because Ghost has historically had trouble kicking big field goals. He's lost a lot of money on some missed, kick, missed field goals. Yeah. And uh, that's not what he's trying to see here in this event. He, he's trying to put that past him, but a big missed kick right there it gives Figgy a lot of life. Not mistaken, that was a 57-yard field goal, so not the easiest either. But Especially with a 10-cap kicker, Dan Bailey. I mean, when I'm telling you that's a 10-cap kicker, that's the least amount of cap you can spend on a kicker. So he pretty much tanked them as much as he could so he could spend the rest of that cap on those Sean Taylors and those Jamal Adams that are making plays for him. See if that comes back to fight him. Plenty of time for Figgy. 142 remaining here in the first half. Second and nine. Down by seven. Vic, step back. He's rolling out to the right. He's going to throw to the right, but too far ahead of Moss. Looked like he could have just scrambled right, right yeah. up there along the right sideline. Got himself a first down. Instead, gets a little bit greedy. Yeah, especially with Michael Vick. You know, it's he's got that speed and taking advantage of it. Seems, it seems like we have that plenty, though. Players will roll out like that and then simply go for the pass play, as he said, that greed can come into play. Third and nine. He's on 45. Biggie would love some kind of score right here, at least to go into the first half. He's on the clock line. No, the clock's not ticking. Just more of the play clock. Eventually gets it off, though. Got some hot routes all the time in the world once again. Oh, he's got to get out of there. And eventually just throws it away. Talk about a coverage play there. Yeah, that was almost a very good coverage sack. Biggie just not able to find anybody downfield. I was looking more at his pocket presence, so I didn't, I didn't see if anything broke open deeper down the field. I, I was just surprised how much time he had back there. Yeah, sometimes big, that means all the secondary is just doing that good coverage. I mean, it's just big play after big play. This is back and forth right now. Fourth and nine for Fig. This is huge. He really could use this after what just happened. The missed field goal and everything wants to capitalize, but... You have to. Over oh, the middle. Yeah, you got him. Sharpie has him, and he reels in the ball. First down, that's exactly what Figgy needed. Oh, that is a huge play for Figgy, and that's one of those plays when your receiver or tight end gets hit right after the catch like that. It, the ball could fall either way, fortunately for Figgy. Tight end able to hold on to the rock. First down. Now he's moving in ghost territory. Bunch to the left. Man in motion from left to right. It's going to be hand up to Cornette, though. Tries to break through, but... Not much of a hole to work with. A timeout called by Ghost. Does not want to let that clock run down. Figures he is getting the ball back. Second of three total. 
Biggie, audible to the bunch right. Clock stopped at 59 seconds. Gets into the pocket. Pressure behind and in front, though. Just too much time looking downfield, and Jones comes up for the sack. Interesting timeout right there by Ghost. Hoping, yeah. hoping to get a stop right here, maybe get the ball back in. When your offense is that high powered, I don't blame you. Ghost very confident if he can get this rock back that he'd be able to get himself to down the field to get three. I think he might have something to say about it, though. And 12. And you got room, Vickens. Scramble. It's scramble time Vickens. for Vickens. Oh, oh, he's look at Scramble with the hit stick. Oh. Oh, with the recovery. And I suppose that's the downside, RG. Oh, look at the Vickens just get crushed right here. And the ball, unfortunately for Figgy, he's near the sideline, but the ball takes an amazing <laughs> bounce for Ghost. And you see yeah. Figgy's reaction, but you know what? If you think you're playing with fire, you got to protect the quarterback at all costs, even though he can't Slide. get injured. That is the majority, uh, that's where the majority of the risk comes from. More often than not, you take a hit like that with Vickens, he's going to cough it up. And out goes Cooper. It's the catch. And you know, even if he doesn't score here, it's safe to say he prevented points from going on the board from Figgy. It's already a win in that sense. Uh, he's going to be looking to get himself into field goal range. He's so prolific in this gun bunch. And he has so much he can go to. You got to watch out for the wheels, the streaks, the deep crosses routes, the corner routes. He's going to be hit, though, as he's moving up in the pocket. Maybe even a gain of a yard there, a couple. But third and four now coming up. The clock does keep ticking, though. Remember, he used all those timeouts. Yeah, so this is going to be the play that, that's going to determine if he's going to have any chance of getting three. It's ticking. I, I think he's done. He might want to just take this to the to the half. Nope, he's going for glory. Goes for the play action, rolling out to the right, but it's a left-handed quarterback, and you know what? He's just like, all right, I don't care about the stats. <laughs> oh, that was so smart to give up with your quarterback, not give him a chance to get hit on the throwaway. Uh, you never see that mechanic used. To use that, you got to hold the left trigger, right trigger, and click in that right stick, and your quarterback will give up. I love seeing high-level stuff like that. Now, usually you take a break here, break things down, but you know what? With the delay earlier, let's get into the third quarter, RG. It's a 14-7 lead for Ghost, and of course, Ghost is receiving to start things off. We have Randy Moss making a couple of jukes, gets down to maybe the 24-yard line there, 23 even. That'll be first and 10. This has been a pretty weird game. It's it's one of those games where it feels like each player, it's like hot potato. It's like, hey, hey you take the momentum. No, 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 you take the momentum. No, nobody wants to run away with it, it feels like. Ultimate $100,000 up for grabs for the first place finisher offset event. Cornette, the read is there and he gets a truck out of it. Second and in inches. And talking with Figgy, he is confident that he's prepared well for this gun bunch style of offense. He practices often against Blocky, who we'll see later on today play against J-Wall. And Blocky's known as having the top five gun bunch type offense in the community. So Figgy very comfortable against this type of offensive game style. Oh, hit as he tried to throw it there. Steve Young, great pressure coming out from Figgy. And it's a sack and what was second and inches, now it's third and eight. It, it, it's going to sound weird, but for Ghost, uh, this is likely two down territory for him. He, he's not going to want to get the boot out. Yeah. Just a lot of that Unless fourth down. But, sack. Well, he's finding a receiver on the left hand side. Not going to be a first, but gets close to it at least. Four more yards. This was intense. Figgy with it. But another chance to keep the hot potato game going to get the momentum right back. Is that big fourth down we're talking about, RG? Needs four yards to get. Look for the quick flat pass. Goes, goes. A lot of blowing around. He's in the stick play right now. You got to watch the slant route. Over the middle, good coverage. It. He's going to go for Rice instead. The up catch makes it with the one hand. And I can understand why Figgy's upset at that one, because that's one of those. Usually they don't come down with the ball. That, well, the, the thing is this one hand animation that we're seeing these super high OVR 97 overall wide receivers able to consistently get. It seems like once they get their hand on that, the success rate is just skyrocketing. And you know, when you play normal Madden, you're not used to playing teams that have three 97 overall players. That's something you, you're gonna deal mainly with in mud. And, uh, yeah, that, that's unfortunate, though, for Figgy. It, yeah. It's a tough catch to make, Detroit, but Detroit. probably a higher, percent, a higher percentage in Madden than it does in real life. Go suffering a false start there. 
So we'll lose five yards, but first and 15. Steve Young dropping back in. Great protection and has Hurst. We've seen that a couple of times on the left-hand side there. Not the biggest of gains, though. Hayden Hurst, Ghost called him out as uh, one of his best sleeper mutt players. He said, if you're looking for a beast tight end in mutt that, that's a little bit cheaper than those Shannon Sharps or whatever, he said, look into that Hay Hayden Hurst. I believe he's a 93 overall snow beast item. Young, he tried to find some running room, but could not get in. The pocket collapsed. And I think he's he's finding the pressure. It's, yeah, I was going to say the stat popping up right there. His fourth sack of the game already. And remember, they had to re reset the game. Oh, so that's true, actually, yeah. Those stats aren't, aren't, aren't even reflective of everything he may have done. I can't, I can't recall if, if, we, if he got a sack before yeah. the, the disco or not. Bunch to the left. Oh, movement there at the snap, but no flag down. However, yeah. Young gets hit, and I go back to that point. You got to you gotta think about punting the ball here if you go. Fourth and 18. I mean, he, he's doing his formation subs right now at that play call screen like, like he wants to go for this. If I'm Figgy, I'm going into an aggressive pass rush, and I'm sending the dogs. They can blitz. We'll see if Ghost is able to respond to that if so. Ghost with a little scissors concept out there. The slot receiver in a corner, that outside receiver on a post. Not very out. strong concept. Max protect. Game-changing play right here. Potentially is going Moss one-on-one. -on -one. The one hit a catch cannot come down, though. See so the animation of Moss. He wanted a flag there, but he ain't getting one. And that's a turnover on downs. And Angel Figueroa just refuses to go away. And he's keeping this a battle. He just needs to go and find himself a way to get down there and get in this end zone. Really start putting some pressure on the defending champion, Ghost. 2.02 remaining here in the third quarter. And remember, there's no love loss between these teams. You got a Redskins fan against an Eagles fan. I mean, you know how that rivalry goes. I've, I've heard about it, yes. Who's, who's your team, Nick? Chargers. Chargers, yeah. Respectable. Not the Chargers right now. They had a good run this year. Yeah, they did. They had a pretty good run. We'll see that, you know, the move to LA and everything. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, that team they ran into in the playoffs, that's a phenomenal team. <laughs> Great team. Let's see them coming up, of course, this Sunday. Michael Vick. Find Sharp on the left with a quick pass, gain of a couple. 130 to go and counting here in the third quarter. So Figgy trying to move those chains. Keep alive. Again, still a whole quarter ahead of us, but down 14-7 right now. Not had a score so far in the second half. Bit of a slower one. He's making the hot route calls. Send Sanders in motion to the right. And he's going to go deep with it. Randy Moss. It's not going to be caught or maybe caught, but out of bounds. Another fourth down here for Fig. He's going to get the kicker out there. It's going to be a boot. Yeah, this is... 54-yard field goal, so similar distance to what Ghost missed earlier. Yeah, it's way to the right, similar well, issue. I mean, he doesn't have a great kicker. It's not the 10-cap kicker, but it's a Jason Sanders 12-cap. I mean, that, not much better. <laughs> not much better. <laughs> so the game remains 14-7. to No, you take the momentum. No, 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 I don't want you to take the momentum. It's just back and forth with these two. It continues, RG. The, the, big, the big thing is, though, it's, it's a close game. It's still anyone's game, no doubt, at this point. Still again in the third quarter, minute 02 remaining. And it's a big game for both of these players. Neither one of them had a great showing in the Madden Classic. So when you talk about those MCS series points to try to make that Madden ball at the end of the year, keeping your tournament life alive is a big deal in that regard. And don't forget, this is also a $2,500 game of Madden. Both have guaranteed themselves five grand. Wonder if this guarantees themselves 7,500, but that also puts you into the game where if you win this game and then when you're ne your next one, you've now guaranteed yourself $20,000. So. It's a yeah. big game, man. A lot of money on the line for this event. Cash. You're talking about that Madden Bowl get more than that in just a second right here. As we got a second and 14 for Figgy. As Moss in motion to the right. Immediate pass to Moss as he cuts back in, but not enough for the first down. Short of about six yards. Speaking yeah. of that bowl there, Archie, by the way, uh, how hard would you say is it to get to that bowl? Oh, 
you, you got to be an animal. Yeah. You can't mess around. You, you got to be a dog to make it to that Madden. You got to grind the whole year. You got to grind. You, you got to grind. If you did, if you missed the Madden Classic already, you better be grinding uh, Mutt Draft right now, <laughs> to, so you can make that Madden Challenge. And if you're not grinding the Mutt Draft, you, you're not giving yourself a good chance if you're already not into this tournament. Uh, you're going to have to go all in on that last chance qualifier, yeah. and the points aren't going to be enough. You're going to have to win that last chance qualifier. So it's going to be tough. We've hit the end of the third quarter. 14-7 to lead for Ghost, our defending champion, and he's in the lead. Can he hold on to it as we enter the fourth quarter now? Five minutes put up on the clock. Third and six. He's at the 48-yard line of his own side. He's back in the pocket, finding Rice. Nope, Comes not down. that time. Oh, not that down. time. And I'll tell you, Figgy's playing some defense out here. To hold Ghost only 14 points so far into the fourth quarter, that's no easy task. And we find ourselves with another big fourth down play here, Nick. Yeah, Ghost with a fast start, living up to the hype. But again, second half especially, been a different story. So RJ is pointing out, big fourth down, fourth and six. It's like they keep hanging around this 40 to 50 yard line area of the field. Back and forth continues. Will that be the case here? Young. Pressure in his face. He needs to get the ball off his pit as he throws it. And it's an incomplete pass. Turnover on downs once again. And you see Figgy swagging up there a little bit on the stage, getting his morale boosted a little bit. He knows that was a big play. Now you got to turn the swag on offense up a little bit, Figgy. You're playing too well on defense not to capitalize it. You got to get it in sooner or later for a touchdown. Finds his man on the left hand side. Oh, Sanders, that's I believe, been. spinning into the. Defender there at the second one at least. Uh, did, did an extra load of laundry right there. There was no need for that extra spin. Initial one was pretty. The second one not so much. Gets five yards out of it nonetheless. Look at that defensive playoff by Ghost. Just to call out for those at home. We're seeing the game right now from Ghost's perspective. So when he pulls up that playoff, Figgy can't see that. You're seeing it strictly from the perspective of Ghost. And oh, he proceeds to almost make a big defensive play as we show his defensive playoff. That's why you might want to pay attention to it. <laughs> RG, that was almost a perfect segue with that uh, picks uh, does come through. But he drops the ball. Well, again, a great play, though, by Ghost. Still getting it down. And now a third and five for Figgy. So the trend continues, RG, just a back and forth battle in the field. Verticals. Oh, it gets he's the got catch. It. He's going. He's looking to go all the way to the end he's zone. He's down at the last second. So he won't go in, but he's down to the three yard line with that catch. Wow, and this is what Figgy says he has us running back for. He's got an 85 overall Lennon Fournette, and he said, the reason he's on my team, G, I don't check it down to him in the passing game too much. I don't run too often, but he's a dog for me in the goal line. So let's see if Figgy gets the ball to Leonard Fournette here and if he can pound it in. But it gets stingy down here, Nick. This is no give me. As you said earlier, scoring from the red zone, it ain't easy business. Not much field to work with. Is in that power formation though, setting up the run goes to the Ooh, back, what a way to shoot the gap immediately. No chance. So trying to use sharp there, not Fournette. Th that's always the best run defense you can have in Madden. Sure, relying on your AI to block shed and all that is nice, but when you can manually shoot that gap and punch him in the mouth in the backfield, that's the atypical type of run defense that you want to have. Big 48 right and counting there. here in the fourth quarter. Again, remains a 14 to 7 lead for Ghost. He's got to hurry up. The play clock's winding down. He can't afford to waste the time out here if you're Figgy. Yeah, he's got to snap it now. He does. It's going to be a pass play. Where's he looking? looking he for the middle. high ball. Figgins! He it in. Michael Vick comes through with One the speed D. up the middle. And that's a way to do it. He's going to tie things up here with the extra point, RG. We got ourselves a ball game. Oh, man. The Philadelphia grit really showing for Figgy right now. And I'll tell you, representing those Philadelphia Eagles, there's always going to be a little bit of extra pressure because you're representing Philadelphia, yeah. which many consider to be the mecca of competitive Madden. There's been so many great champions that have come from that area. And Philadelphia Madden players, they do have something special against the, about them. When you put their backs against the wall, they always seem to shine the brightest. And Figgy displaying some of that right now. Philly fan base in general can be a tough fan base to play for sometimes. I'll tell you, I was at the Super Bowl last year, and it felt like a home game for the Eagles. It was embarrassing. 
Drini, you see his reaction, his game, of course, ending a bit ago. We'll show you the highlights later on. As you still need this one to finish, and a heck of a finish. It's bound to be hit as he Oh! But incomplete instead. And Ghost will have a second and ten. Ghost is looking very flustered on offense right now. And I think those reps that Figgy got against Blocky leading up to this event are really paying wonders for him right now. Young dropping back. He's looking for running, gets tripped up. He had so much wide open space, but the trip up. Ooh, that's Taylor grabbing him at his ankles. That's Jason Taylor. And that's one, another thing you got to love about Mutt. Where else are you going to see Jason Taylor be able to sack Steve Young? All right, now, lucky 56. That's great. Lucky 56. All right, so third right, now, and seven from his own 28. Lucky we have the tie ball right, game now, here. Lucky lucky NFC 56. East matchup, round of 32. Four man Goes. rush. Really feeling the pressure due to that four man rush. Gets oh, he's on his horse. Juke immediately he went for the pick. He did not get it. tackle. And Ghost is going all the way. That's going to be a lead once again for the defending champion. Jerry Rice is having a huge game right now for the club championship defending champion, Hassan Spall, a.k.a. Ghost. And if you're going to take his belt away from him, it is not going to be easy. He is going to fight till the very end. He's going to represent his Redskins with pride. We have not seen much of that offense here in the second half, of course, from Ghost, but talk about a great time for it to shine. And a big shout out to the Washington Redskins. I hopped on Twitter this morning. I saw them tweeting at Ghost, giving them some support, yeah. getting some support from the rest of the fan bases. And that's what it's all about as this sport continues to grow and you continue to get more support from those NFL organizations and they continue to invest and get interested in this type of stuff. It's only going to be bigger and better for everybody involved and it's what I love to see. Look at this play. Yeah, that's again, he went for the pick right there. I think that was the big part of it, right? You know, it's obviously a greedy play. If he makes it, of course, it's game's completely different, but was not able to come down with it. Ghost takes advantage, scores as a result. Well, I was talking to, talking up Figgy about that Philadelphia grid and what happens when you put a Phillies player back against the wall. Figgy's got to show improve right here, and there he goes! He's got Sanders over the middle, past midfield, backs against the wall maybe, but he is fighting himself. Oh, man, they got to be going nuts. Back home in Lancaster, PA, watching Figgy on this guap drive right now, trying to tie this ball game. He says he's got his whole family back at home watching. Can he dethrone defending champion? He needs a touch and a tie it right now. 2.32 remaining in the fourth quarter. Audible's the bunch to the left. There's Fournette in the backfield with him, of course, and it is going to be a rare oh. handoff here in the second half, and yeah, hit right as he got the handoff. Literally everyone just came That's in. number 90. He, he, that's the same guy that made that interception for Ghost. It's almost like that wasn't a fumble. Let me see who that is. Despite the hit stick right there. It's Javon Curse, the freak. One of my favorite defensive ends growing up. Javon Curse playing on those Eagles, the Titans. His nickname really was the freak, too. That guy was a phenomenal defensive player. Ghost clearly likes him, comes through him, through for him there. He's got an interception, a big tackle for loss, causing havoc. We hit our two minute warning. He's got Rome! Play. Sanders with the catch! The two minute warning hits, but a big catch for Figgy. Oh, this game has just been such a roller coaster, RG. We've had our stall moments early in the second half, but this fourth quarter, it has opened up. Oh, uh, could you imagine being the Figgy, the Figueroa household right now, watching Figgy go to try to get this game tied up, represent those Philadelphia Eagles? Fournette grinding Fournette. in. It's not going to be happening for the touchdown, but he gets down to the one yard line, grinding as much as he could there. He says that he's got his mom, Sherry, his dad, Angel Senior, and his aunt and uncles who are all die hard Eagles fans are going to be at home watching rooting them on. Well, they should be very excited now for yeah. a potential score, <laughs> of course, at the one yard line. Absolutely. First and goal. Look at that bunch, though, on defense, but Sharp yeah. just simply walks in. And we got a tie ball game once again here, RG. And you're going to put yourself that way to fight back if you're Figgy. But now you got yourself in a situation. You got the defending champion, one of the most prolific players of the last several years on offense, with the ball with a minute and 34 left on the guap drive. Tournament life on the line. The biggest prize pool of the entire season. And a rivalry matchup, Redskins versus Eagles, comes down to this. And look at this return, by the way. He's on his Are horse! Are you kidding me? He's going 
very deep there down the 43 yard line past midfield. What happened? Oh, that is huge right there for Ghost. Gets himself close to field goal range and a couple of first downs. He can start digging into these Figgy timeouts. Figgy had a bit of a miscue there with his control, it looked like. Here's the thing Ghost is still not in field goal range, so Fig still has a chance to play some stingy defense and make it awkward for Ghost. Rare run. It's going to be a good run, though, tackle. a gain of about five. Yeah, the user tackle coming into play, however. And let's not forget the janky kicking we've seen already yeah. in this game from both players. And I've told you about Ghost's history kicking big field goals Detroit! already. Detroit! Uh, I can assure you he, he, he most likely wants a touchdown. He doesn't want this to come down to a long kick, he's especially if he gets iced. Yeah, he's thinking end zone right here, no doubt. It's going to be a timeout from Ghost. Unsure about the play call there. It's either he wasn't sure about the play call or some of his players may have, may have been tired and he's just trying to get everyone the full energy to make sure they can be as efficient as possible on the most important drive of the game. Injuries may not exist, but fatigue definitely does. Yes, absolutely. And fatigue will hinder your ability to perform. Oh, it's back! To Rice. Got he got it. it! Got it. Down to the 18. First and 10, 48 seconds remaining. Toe tap swag. The good thing for Figgy right there is the receiver caught the ball but went out of bounds so the clock stopped so Figgy continues to have all three timeouts. Young handing it off to Fournette on the right hand side. A swarm of defenders from Philadelphia though and Figgy of course forced to use one of those three timeouts now. Does not want to let that clock tick because at this point you accept that at least this is, this is going to be a field goal. Yeah, and if you're a ghost, you feel so much better about kicking from this distance than around, you know, oh, yeah. the 34, 35 yard line. I feel a lot better about a field goal from here. If he could somehow get a first down, that could really change things too. And he's going for a pass, actually. He wants his first down. He's going to get hit, though, and that's going to be a sack in the case of, you know, it forces a timeout. It's not an incomplete pass, at least. He's going to slang it again right here. No one goes, man. This is a high-powered offensive player. I can't stress it enough. That's he, a seven-year loss, though. He's going to go for it here. The thing is, he can't check down and try to get it all in two plays. This is a two down territory obviously. It's either you protect the ball you get the first down or you just settle for the three. 41 yard field goal from here right now. Got to be careful about getting sacked. He's too. going in zone. Rice comes He's got it. catches it. Are you kidding me? Three defenders in his Let's face go. and the legend that is Jerry Rice comes through for ghosts and he takes the lead with 34 seconds remaining. And that is a glitchy route. That's that deep route chemistry that he has on Jerry Rice. He hot, he hot routes him to a deep deep crossing route that you can only get with that chemistry and then he flips the play so instead of it going to a deep cross to the inside it becomes a deep cross that's going deep to the back corner of the end zone and the only way you can make that play is with that deep route chemistry ghost does it right there wow pays off for him now look at that reaction there from ghost and how about the reaction of the players in that play around rico involved too and it's just, uh, they're enjoying this game as we are, of course. Well, you saw Drag. He was getting pumped up back there, rooting on his EMB brother. He had a good game himself yesterday against Strafen. Oh, cracked! What a hit. What a hit there. He thought it was a catch initially, and it ends up not being one. This is going to be tough for Figgy. A field goal would have been so much more manageable, but now you got to go get seven from your own 25-yard line, 28 seconds. This is tough if you're Figgy. And you know Ghost is playing that prevent defense now. There he goes. He's in vertical. He's going to motion out this receiver, send the wheel up the sideline. He's got one and one on the right. Also in the middle, yeah. Moss has the space. But again, if you're Ghost, it. you don't mind that. There's that timeout you mentioned, the final one. So 22 seconds remaining. It's a first down. He's at his own 40-yard line still. He needs a touchdown. Yeah, no more timeouts in this situation. If you're thinking you got to be very selective with your play calling. Ghost is in the quarter three deep defense. This is a prevent style defense. It's going to send a three man rush. Everybody else in man to man coverage with three deep safeties behind you. You do not mind things over the middle if you're Ghost. Oh, it's a cover two type quarter three. He's going deep. deep. He's going all the way, but it's just too much. Overthrows it. 16 seconds remaining now. And that was a little bit dangerous in itself. If he catches that, it doesn't score. It's, he got to hurry up. Yeah, goes. He's in a zone type quarter street deep defense. I usually like to go man in this situation. Uh, he's playing very far back. 
Vic, uh, it's going to be hit from behind, uh, and that's, that's going to do it. Now he might have time to go to the play call screen and quickly pick a play. In this situation, it's quicker in Madden to get to the play call screen than it is to even run hurry up in this situation. It's been a legacy thing for a long time. He should have a chance to get one more play. Uh, he's going to get it off. One second. Oh, Got it off. Wow. It's a screen. Here we go. The he's final play field. of the game. And it's going to be hit. Ghost will defeat Figgy and keep the dream alive of becoming the defending champion down the line, of course to win it once again. Vicky got so close, a heck of a performance from him, but simply just was not enough, RG. Uh, hats off to both competitors, Angel Figueroa, Vicky.